Hi everyone, I'm Mark Yaxley, CEO of Strategic Wealth Preservation. Here with my good friend, Parker Blau of Sigma Metalytics. Parker, we met recently at the LVMA conference. Yeah. Uh, you showed us a new machine uh, produced by Sigma Metalytics that we've since uh, incorporated into our workflow at SWP. So we wanted to invite you down and demonstrate to our viewers how this wonderful machine works. Yeah, it was, uh, it was great to meet you and I'm glad you guys are using as much testing equipment as possible. We, we really believe anytime physical metals are trading hands, they, they do need to be tested. Um, but basically, all, all our device does is it non-destructively and rapidly uh, tests precious metal coins and bars. It's, it really does what it says on the tin. So that's one of the things that our clients often ask us about is how do you guarantee the authenticity of our products? In other mm -hmm. words, how do you guarantee that the stated purity on that bar or coin is what it says? And this machine does that, correct? Correct. Yeah. So it tests the uh, resistivity of the sample as well as the density of the sample. And by testing both of those things, you basically cover off every avenue that counterfeiters have to, to sneak a fake by you. Mm -hmm. um, and it can do that you know, without having to touch the sample at all. So if we look here, we've got a, a gold Krugerrand. It's in its case. Mm -hmm. We're set to gold Krugerrand. You simply slide it under the sensor. And uh, if your arrows come up in the green, then it's a genuine piece. You're all set. And that's how easy it is. We just tested a, a one ounce gold coin just like that. And right through the plastic as well. Right through the plastic, no need to take it out, no need to scratch it or do any sort of acid testing or cut it open or anything. Like that. And what other types of metals can this machine test? Uh, we can test gold, silver, platinum, palladium, rhodium, and copper. And for gold and silver, we have all different alloy settings because we know there's different alloys out on the market. You know, 90%, 22 karat, 995, that kind of thing. It's important to use the right size sensor for your sample. If you're using something that's too big, you get weird results. If you're using something that's too small, maybe you're not testing all the way through. So we include this different range of sensors so you get rapid, accurate testing. And so this small one is your, for your small, you know, one gram, one tenth ounce, then you go up to like one ounce, up to about one kilogram of gold can be tested here. Mm -hmm. And this is the, the big external bridge, as we call it. It can test 100 ounce silver and 400 ounce gold. Um, anything up to 45 millimeters thick. That's pretty incredible because I know that's been one of the struggles for the industry in the past, talking yeah. about some of the other technologies that have been used, which we'll touch on in a moment, that they couldn't test all the way through those thicker products. Oh yeah, yeah. So I look forward to uh, testing a 100 ounce silver bar, maybe a 400 ounce gold bar. That'd be great. In just a moment. But how does this compare to other technologies, the XRF technology, and then obviously you have the assay testing? Yeah, so I mean, right off the bat, XRF is a super cool technology. Um, but it doesn't penetrate very deep. On, on a good day, an XRF device will go 10 to 15 microns deep, um, and our weakest sensor goes about 10 times deeper than that um, on the Precious Metal Verifier Pro. And so the onboard sensors here are actually testing all the way through the sample. There's no way for an insert or counterfeit metal to hide from you at all. And I could demo to you what that looks like right now. But let's go for it. Yeah, so this is a, a very similar gold coin. In fact, it's also a gold crew grand and uh, you just slide on the sensor just like the other one, but instead of it coming up in the green, you've now got arrows off in the red. So what does that tell you, Parker, when you see that reading? That to me uh, means that there's some sort of counterfeit metal in there. Now we just call it a questionable sample. We don't like to point fingers or anything like that, but we say it's inconsistent with the alloy that it should be. It's definitely not 22 karat, and based on the readings, it does look like it's got tungsten in it. So that one would require further testing, obviously. Yeah, and I, I always live by the, the idea that every sample should pass every piece of testing you put it through. And this has already failed the first test. So I, I wouldn't trust this piece, uh, even if it went through other testing. Okay. So Parker, historically, correct me if I'm wrong, when testing a 400 ounce gold bar, the only way to do that would have been to drill an assay the results. That's correct. Yeah, you'd have some sort of destructive testing, whether it's drilling it, cutting it open, uh, melting it down, something that's going to destroy the value of it and, and cost a lot to the customer. So this machine actually gives us an alternative to that. That's right. Yeah. Can you show us how that works with a 400 ounce gold bar? Yeah. So um, just like testing with the, uh, the one ounce coin, all you do is you have preset it to, to pure gold. You just slide the bar on here. It's going to ask for the width because that goes into some of how the calculations are done and we tell it that. It's gonna settle down for a moment, and you just gotta center it right there on the sensor. But as long as everything's coming up in the green, you're all set, and you can always move it around a little bit just to double check, and 
as long as it's not jumping out into the red, you're, you're all set. So this is just like that. In a couple of seconds, we've tested a 400 ounce gold bar and, and it's real. So we've saved quite a bit of money because we didn't have to uh, drill and assay. We've also saved a lot of time because Correct. historically we would have had to send that bar to a refinery in the United States to have it drilled and assayed. And then it takes about a week to get the results. And you have to trust that counterparty that they're telling you the whole truth about what's going on. This never leaves your site, can stay in your vault, can stay with the customer. They know it's in safe hands the whole time it's being tested. Another product that we sell quite a few of are these 100 ounce silver bars, very mm -hmm. popular with investors, at least here at SWP. Can this machine also test this bar? Oh yeah, same, same way, it's super easy. We just change a couple of settings. We're just gonna set the metal over to pure silver and we're gonna set the weight over to 100 ounces. So the device knows what it's testing. And again, we just slide it on here, lower the plunger down and click measure. It's gotta settle down for a moment because it's gonna do all of its math. And there you go, you're in the green. Uh, just a couple of seconds to be testing again. And again, we, we move it just to be very safe. Never can be too safe with these kinds of bars and everything's coming up in the green. So you've got another genuine sample on your hands, just like that. Excellent, because I can tell you, you know, having worked in the industry for a long time, the technology that had been available to us you know, in, in prior years could only do the surface. We talked about the XRF machines Correct, previously, yeah. or you know, the expensive undertaking of drilling and assaying. So this is a really a great advancement. We should all know that the metals we're dealing with are genuine. Um, and, and that's really our core belief here at Sigma Metalytics. Great advice. Thanks for joining us, Parker. Thank you for having me.